In this video, I'm going to go over 101 different random fun facts about Guild Wars 2. So let's get started. Did you know that humans are actually aliens and they were brought to Tyria by the human gods? Did you know that Red Asum is an anagram of Mersat? Did you know that there is a secret turkey room in the Asclonian catacombs? On that note, did you know that there is a secret jumping puzzle in the Asclonian catacombs that was going to be a big part of the dungeon but was cut? To continue the trend, did you know that there's a secret blue room in the Ascalonian catacombs with a torch you can extinguish to summon a group of Ascalonian ghosts who will attack you? Did you know that Lion's Arch has been attacked, damaged, or destroyed at least 9 times? It was damaged in the Cataclysm when Orsunk. sunk, it was attacked by Abaddon's forces at the start of the Nightfall campaign, it was damaged during the war in Kryda, it was destroyed by the Great Tsunami when Zaitan rose Or. it was attacked by Captain Whiting in the Sea of Sorrows novel, it came under attack when Black Gast assaulted Claw Island and some Risen forces made their way to Lion's Arch. It was kind of attacked by Mad King Thorn when he destroyed the Lion's Court statue. It was attacked by the Karka where the lighthouse was destroyed, and it was completely destroyed yet again with Scarlet Briar's siege on the city. There may be more incidents in the early days of Lion's Arch with the Centaurs and Orion forces, but these are the ones we know about. Did you know that Heart of Thorns is called Heart of Thorns because the Heart of Thorns is a prominent part of Heart of Thorns? Jokes aside, the Heart of Thorns is the massive and ancient tree where Mordremoth took roots eons ago and is now the core of his domain. Did you know that treants like Okarts will mash up animals they come across and use the remains as fertilizer for their young? Did you know that there's a secret Order Whisper space in Gutra's homestead in Lornar's Pass that you can only access if you are a member of the Order of Whispers? Did you know that if you attack these chickens in the stronghold of Ebonhawk, they will become angry at you and attack you, for this is an obvious reference to the Legend of Zelda. Did you know that the Ancestor Tree in the Jahai Bluffs is the last of its kind? There used to be many and they were sacred locations for the centaurs in the region, but with the combination of the creation of the Desolation and Crystal Desert, Palo Ajoko's first invasion, the events of Verish Asa Nightfall, and Palo Ajoko's second invasion and domination of Valona that led to the entire centaur population being wiped out, only one remains. Did you know that in the loading screen art for Lion's Arch, there is a random man just standing there? Actually, a lot of the stuff in this concept art is taken from photos of Budapest, like this lion and also this other person over here. Did you know that you used to be able to play with the RC golems in Metrica province? It was a fun mini game that you could do as you completed the task around here. Since then you can no longer play with them, but you can find a playable set in the cave at last year standing in Orc Basin. Did you know that Lornar's Pass is named after Lornar, who was a legendary dwarf warrior who single-handedly held off an invasion of hell giants in the year 534 after Exodus? Did you know that many of the buildings in Lion's Arch are modeled after various sea creatures? Did you know that there is a Risen just taking a nap on the side of the Cathedral of Eternal Radiance and Malkor's Leap? Did you know that the entrance to the Wyatt's Revenge Jumping Puzzle at Shark Maw Caverns is a Shark Maw? Did you know that if you put down a Mesmer Portal, the sound it makes is a version of the original Guild Wars 2 title theme played on a music box but reversed? Did you know that the human god Grinth is actually the son of the human god Duena, who had sex with a mortal sculptor, who may be Malkor, but it's not confirmed? Did you know that you can find the Order of Whispers having a secret printing press underneath Snowdrift Haven in Snowden Drifts? Did you know that you can enter the windmill in the Shamor Fields and actually explore a pretty cool area? Did you know that Savari are omnivorous, meaning they eat both plants and animals, meaning that the char who make jokes about eating salads should watch their backs? Did you know that a major April Fool's Day joke in the original Guild Wars was the Commando class where you could teleport to the future and play as a modern soldier in a couple of missions? Well, you can occasionally find some commandos in the Jahai Bluffs, Skywatch Archipelago, and Wizard's Tower. Did you know that there is a massive secret adventure in Ember Bay where you can acquire a strange rock, bring it to different volcanoes in Ember Bay to get the debris off, and reveal that it is actually Rurik's engagement ring who is the Prince of Ascalon who is going to propose to Lady Althea Baradin until the whole char obliterating Ascalon, Rurik sacrificing his life in the Shiver Peaks to save his people, and the player characters having to kill a reanimated Rurik in the Fire Island chain thing happened? Most players probably recognize that the rolling boulders in the volcanic fractal is a mild reference to Indiana Jones, but did you know that there's a skeleton wearing a fedora holding onto a chest in this fractal as well? Did you know that there's a beautiful bamboo garden hidden in the bottom layer of the grove? Did you know that if three rangers use the call of the wild ability at the same time, a lunar wolf will spawn? Did you know that there's a guild known as the Modus Scalaris where you can fight various members of this guild around Tyria? Did you know that there's a tiny spider named Dozer who will follow you around the Citadel of Flame Dungeon? Did you know that there used to be a MOBA called Master X Master which was published by NCSoft and featured characters from various NCSoft titles with Guild Wars 2's representative being Rithlock Brimstone? 
Did you know that there's a reference to Romeo and Juliet in the Hrathi Hinterlands, where you can find Bandito and Seraphet? Did you know that you can summon the ghost of Anton, one of the main characters from the original Guild Wars, at his grave located at Volum's Battle Pit in the Gandharan Fields? Did you know that there is this bear who ruined this poor woman's day in Queensdale? Did you know that there is a beautiful strawberry garden hidden in the southwestern corner of Diasa Plateau? Did you know that you can find some swinging boys around Tyria, which is one of the developer's signatures? Did you know that you can find the ghost of Captain Greywind, a minor character from Guild Wars, at the Ascalon settlement? His ghost will randomly appear at night. Did you know that you can find the memorial to Kellen in the Fields of Ruin? This is a character from the Ghost of Ascalon novel, where Golik Odson, also from the Ghost of Ascalon novel, will occasionally show up to pay respects. Did you know that you can also find Dougal Keen from the Ghost of Ascalon novel in Lion's Arch where he is the leader of the Guild Initiative? Did you know there is a secret underground club in Lion's Arch? Did you know that there was a spider mound being developed, but it was cut from the game? Did you know while horses are referenced in a few different places, we never actually see horses themselves in the game? Did you know that when you go to interact with a vista, some vistas will show the prompt of view, while others will show the prompt of interact? You're welcome. Did you know that the gardens in Divinity's Reach was built by a wizard named Garen, and we don't know if this has any connection to the wizard Isgaren? Did you know that Mad King Thorn and Palawa Joko met as kids? Did you know that you can sync emotes with other players by having both players add an asterisk to the end of the emote command and having both players use the emote at the same time? On the topic of emotes, did you know that you can direct emotes towards other players and NPCs by adding an at symbol at the end of the command? Did you know that you can see the Beggar's Burrow mini dungeon in Queensdale via the grate located at the back entrance accessed via the Shamor graveyard? Did you know that there is a beautiful hidden location tucked away between these houses and the awesome quarter of Divinity's Reach? Did you know that the Crown Pavilion in Divinity's Reach was originally the Great Collapse, which was going to be a Canton district in the city, but was quickly cut before release? Did you know that while most Cryptus Rift events are the Cryptus coming out of the rifts and invading certain areas in Tyria, the Rift events in the Inner Nios map are the Cryptus trying to get into the rifts in order to get to Tyria since they're in Nios? It's a nice touch. Did you know that you can break out of most maps in the game to explore some super cool areas not intended for players' eyes? Did you know that if you broke out a dry top, you can find this blue man just hanging out here, which is used by the developers to scale models in the map? Did you know that there is a back exit to the only Zool jumping puzzle in Timberline Falls, which takes you back towards the other side of the map? Did you know that there are seven different ranks of enemies in the game? Ambient, Normal, Veteran, Elite, Champion, Legendary, and Epic. Did you know that Epic enemies are internally called prop bosses at ArenaNet, because they aren't technically enemies in the same sense as every other enemy in the game, and are actually just props? Did you know that the Daybreak release for Living World Season 4 was released on November 28th, 2017, which was nearly 7 years ago? Yes, you're getting old. Did you know that there's an Awakened by the name of Afkar hidden behind the Reload Falls and the Jahai Bluffs? He was recently freed from the grasp of Palawa Joko, has become mortal, and wants to spend his final few days in peace instead of as a servant. Did you know that there's a web game called Rithok's Critter Rampage, where you play as Rithok Brimstone and it is a 2D platformer. It was originally created for the Super Adventure Box commercial. Did you know that ArenaNet has a history of questionable advertising choices that often become jokes in the Guild Wars 2 community, such as the Taxi Cab commercial that was decked out to look like Guild Wars 2 with role players pretending to be from Tyria, and this banner ad where a player went, ah, tada emoji, confetti ball emoji, tada emoji, confetti ball emoji. Did you know that this kitten in New Kining City will die when you pet it, which is a reference to when a developer accidentally killed a cat here in the Ender Dragons preview livestream? Did you know that internally, the Ring of Fire was known as Lava at ArenaNet? A very fitting name. Did you know that the Savari named Falam, who can be found bartending in the Labyrinthine Cliffs, used to be Kukuchu's assistant prior to his imprisonment, where you can find the Quaggan locked up in the cliffs as well? Did you know that you can find the Norn Colleen Johansson on Holbrak, who is a reference to the famous ArenaNet employee? Colin Johansson? Did you know that there's an Asura named Sniff at a somewhat hidden cave in Metrica province who just wants to take care of bunnies instead of using them in experiments? Did you know that when an engineer places down a healing turret, there's a chance they'll say a line like Dispenser here or Dispenser Operational, and thus they are a Savari player, which this is a reference to the engineer class in Team Fortress 2. Did you know that a Daliac spirit will occasionally spawn at the Daliac's rest, walk into this cave and terrify the bandits along the way, eventually disappear as it travels into the mist, and a bandit leader will spawn to stand her ground against the Daliac. Did you know that you can find a mysterious coin hidden in a few areas around the world, which marks areas that the former arena net developer Josh Foreman had worked on? Did you know that you can see the Heart of Thorns from the Gilded Hollow? In a similar vein, did you know that you can see Radasum from Dragon Stand? 
Did you know that there was a quaggan named Drewbird who would beg for money in the town of Prosperity until he was killed by the elder dragon Mordremoth? You can still find his body tangled up in the vines, while you can find his ghost begging for various currencies at each festival. Did you know that there is a hidden inquest base in Garenhof? Did you know that Polymach, which was a minigame in the original Guild Wars, was going to be added into Guild Wars 2 but was cut before launch? There are even some leftover aspects of it, like the arena in Old Lion's Arch, as well as the Polymach arenas and Radisum. Speaking of that arena in Lion's Arch, did you know that it is the icon for Arena Net? Did you know that South Sun Cove was not anywhere on the map and suddenly appeared during Living World Season 1? While we were looking at this map, which is a pre-release map from February of 2012, did you know that there were originally going to be 657 tasks? Where the total amount of map completion objectives had changed frequently prior to the release of Guild Wars 2. Did you know that you can read the signs in front of the Shamor Inn? It's written in New Crichton, which has a direct letter-to-letter -letter translation with English, and you can find New Crichton found throughout the world that you can translate for some fun information. Did you know that you can click your experience bar to open your upcoming level rewards when you are below level 80, or to open your Masteries menu to the Mastery you are currently training if you are above level 80? Did you know that the Lily of the Elon is shaped like a water lily, the bottom floor is the lily pad, while the upper structure is the lily itself? Did you know that there is a redacted fractal that the Wizards Court were studying about some sort of redacted that was heavily dangerous and easily spreads to anyone who thinks about it, or if anyone in Terra ever learns about what redacted actually is, it would likely obliterate all of society. Did you know that the blue orb you interact with during the personal story which powers for Trinity is actually an Eye of the Ocean, which is an artifact bestowed by Su Wan to Katha in order to protect them from the Risen? Did you know that if you rode your jackal up to the Desert Highlands Mastery in sight above the flats at night, you can see beautiful lights in the sky? Did you know that you can go to prison in Radisum if you fall off of the map and down towards the water? Did you know that there is a secret event in the Martyr's Tomb where you can type slash Neo in front of the statue of Duena where an emissary of Duena will appear that you can talk with to learn the name of Confessor Tanad who has a coffin nearby that you can interact with to summon Tanad whom you can fight? Did you know that there is a secret helmet skin you can unlock in the Lamprey Grottles after repairing the tank and control by the suit war band? Did you know that you can't sit on Queen Jenna's throne where she will give you a stern look and Anise will shake her head if you try to do it? Where did you also know you can't sit in Newt Whitebear's throne because he's sitting in it? And did you also know you can't sit in Smolder the Unflinching's chair and the marksmen are ready to shoot you in case you even try? Did you know you can find the statue of Abaddon in the Desolation? You can type slash Neo in front of it to get an achievement, and then you can type slash Dance where the statue will kill you and you get an achievement. Did you know that you can find this door in the Harathi Hinterlands that you can go through to find a special cabbage patch? Did you know that there was originally going to be another zone in Aura where you could find the fallen body of Zaitan, but it was cut from the release of Guild Wars 2? Did you know that there is a giant in the Silver Waste that has a bunch of scrit walking around it? Did you know the Aurora's remains in the Brisbane Wildlands, which is an area tucked away in a corner of the map, is the same area of a mission in the original Guild Wars, and there is an event that takes place here which is similar to that original mission? Did you know that there is a hidden Order Whisper space in Ebonhawk that has a back entrance as well? Did you know that the Elven Monastery in Queensdale has a Brew of the Month club that you can join to get sent a new brew each month and after 12 months you get a bunch of rewards? Did you know that you can type slash wiki and many different things after it to instantly open a wiki article for the specific type of thing you typed in your browser, such as typing slash wiki event timers or slash wiki et will open the event timers page? Did you know that according to a quaggan that traveled to Kantha, the quaggan goddess Malagan is actually Suwon? Did you know that the human goddess Lissa is often depicted as twins, known as Ia and Lis? Did you know that Teria has its very own smut artist by the name of Snargo Gulclaw, whose name is a reference to a comics character made by a Reddit community member? Did you know there was a temporary bug where the Imperator's core in the Black Citadel was duplicated, so there were two cores in the same map? Did you know you can find some of Zaitan's tentacles in the Wizard's Tower? And finally, did you know that the Savari, Traherne, was the first Savari to ever enter the world? He was the first of the 12 firstborn who awakened. And there we go, 101 fun facts about Guild Wars 2. But to end this video with one final fact, did you know that only about 15% of people who watch my videos are subscribed? So if you enjoyed this video, you should consider subscribing since this is the type of content that I enjoy making. I hope you all are taking good care of yourselves. Have a good one everyone.